What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingView.com and in this video, we're gonna look at basic string manipulation in Go. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at basic string manipulation in Golang. But before we get started, if you like this video, and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingView.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at basic string manipulation in Go. So we're gonna look at changing things to uppercase, lowercase, title case, and trimming off white space from the front and the back of a string. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Go videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file here, our basic Go starter code. I'm calling it stringman.go, string manipulation, whatever. And so let's start out by creating a variable. I'm just gonna call it name. And this is gonna be a string and we wanna set it equal to John Elder. Notice the J and the E and John and Elder are lowercase. So we wanna manipulate this thing. Maybe we wanna make the whole thing uppercase. Maybe we wanna make it all lowercase, whatever. We're gonna learn how to do it all this in this video. So what we need to do is come up here and import something called the strings package. And notice that's plural, strings, not string. A little weird. But anyway, this package allows us to do string manipulation type things. So, okay, it's pretty simple. Let's come down here and let's go fmt.println and let's just print this out. If we printed out name, it would just print out John Elder like this. But now instead of doing that, let's change everything in this string to uppercase. So we do that by calling the strings package. And then what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna to go to upper. And this is a function. And inside of this function, we just pass in the thing that we wanna to turn to uppercase. In this instance, it's name. So if we wanted to, we could fmt dot uh, print line name here just to get a baseline, right? Let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C go stuff directory and let's run go run stringman dot go. And here we see originally it's John Elder all lowercase and now every letter in there is uppercase. Ugh, that's a lot, right? So, okay, maybe you want that. Maybe you just want the J and the E to be uppercase. How do you do that? Well, we can use title case. I'm gonna come down here. I'm just gonna copy this guy, paste this in. And instead of two upper, it's just title. And title, like I said, it will take the first letter of every word in your string and capitalize it. So if we save this, in fact, maybe we wanna go uh, title, right? And here, let's go upper, whatever. Just keep track of these things. Let's head back over here, run this guy again. And here we see John Elder, the J and the E are uppercase. This is our original, this is all upper. Okay, that's cool. So maybe we also want to convert it now to all lowercase. Well, it's already lowercase, so uh, maybe we'll change this. There we go. <laughs> all right, so we could copy this guy, come down here. And for lowercase, if you guessed it was too lower, you would win. Pretty obvious, right? Change this to lower. Okay, now let's run this guy. And we see originally it was uppercase J, now everything here is lowercase. Very cool. Finally, we wanna do some trimming. We wanna trim any trailing or leading white space. So here, let's go ahead and, I don't know, let's just change this to have some white space in here. Now it's kinda of hard to tell that if we just printed it out, you wouldn't be able to tell, but I'll show you how to get around that. So to do this, let me copy this guy. Instead of printing LN, I'm just gonna print because when you use print LN, it puts spaces in. So we don't wanna put spaces in. So here, let's just go uh, trim, no space. So here, instead of title, what we want is trim right. Now trim right will take off any white space on the right. You know, so this is like trailing white space. So how do we know if this worked? Well, let's also add, you know, something. So if we save this, and actually first, let's just copy this. And instead of doing this, let's just print out name so we can make sure we see everything smushed together. And then here, trim right, we need actually two arguments inside of here. So when we trim right, we need to say what we're gonna trim from the right. And in this case, we're gonna trim 
a space, right? So, okay, go ahead and save this. Now let's run this. And here we see, okay, everything's on one line. Yeah, that's the problem with using print. So let's go FMT dot print line and put a space in there. Okay, now this will be a little bit more manageable. So here we have John Elder something. This is the original. Notice there's a space between Elder and something because John Elder has white space on either side of it. Here is where we trimmed, and you can see now there is no white space between these two things. So, okay, that's trim right. And so again, let's put another line underneath this, and let's copy this whole thing again. And this time, we, instead of trim right, we wanna trim left. Same deal, just left. And then you pass in the thing you wanna trim. We wanna trim name, what do we wanna trim? That white space at the front of it. So go ahead and save this, run this guy again. Now we see originally there's a space here and a space here. When we trim right, it takes rid of the space there, but this space is still there. When we trim left, it takes rid of that space, but now this space is still there. So there you go, that's how you can trim. It's a little clunky, but uh, you could put those two together to take out trailing and leading white space, but I'll leave that to you, it's trivial. So that's some very basic string manipulation things you're gonna do all the time. You often need to change things to uppercase or lowercase or title case even. Uh, trimming, yeah, I use that sometimes, not as often, but it's a handy thing to have and that's how you do it in Golang. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodingMe.com and I'll see you in the next video.